Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca in Canada. Today we're joining you from Mount Royal here in Montreal and the topic we're going to be discussing is actually a question that we get asked very often and that question is how do I increase my CRS score? If you're interested in reading further onto this topic, uh, please go to our website afterwards, immigration.ca, and the article can be found in the news section. And as always, we love hearing from you, so please do leave any questions or comments in the comments section below. Well, we have nine points to get through, so let's get started. Let's do it. Well, boosting your score under the Canada Immigration Express Entry System is a challenge for a vast majority of individuals. Previously, Individuals who were applying to Canada were able to predict their points and submit their application and know with somewhat predictability that they would get into the system and succeed in coming to Canada. Uh, now, unfortunately, the express entry system has changed all of that. Now you are submitting your application into an express entry pool and roughly every two weeks the Canadian authorities will, se will select the best candidates based on their comprehensive ranking system score. And the best candidates are issued an invitation and those individuals then have 60 days to perfect their application and submit a formal application to Canadian authorities. For permanent residents. One of the important features of the express entry system is that candidates can improve their score during the 12 month period when an application is submitted. So it's important that once you submit your application, you then begin to take all measures to improve your comprehensive ranking system score. So a candidate's profile can give rise to a maximum of 1,200 points once you're in the system. And those points are broken down into seven main factors. Those factors include Includes skills and work experience, education, language ability and education of uh, the applicant's spouse. Of course, language uh, and uh, language ability in English and or French of the main applicant. Uh, whether or not you have an approved job offer, uh, whether or not you have government provincial nomination, and the seventh factor is uh, certain combinations of language skills, education, and work experience that confirm that you have a higher chance of becoming employed in Canada. So those are the seven main factors. They total 1,200 points. And really what you should be looking at once you submit an application, that's the beginning of your journey to Canada. Exactly, because yeah. then you need to work on improving your score. Right, because you want to be selected from the pool. So what we're going to talk about today is once you begin that journey, how can you go about improving your score? So... Um, the first one, keeping an open mind. Keeping an open mind is really keeping a broad perspective. means, I guess, if you know that you're already strong in one or two of the important factors, you shouldn't stop there, right? Yeah, exactly. you, you want to enhance your other qualifications and, and do what you can to improve some of those factors. Exactly right. So, for example, if you have an option to increase your uh, education or your language or uh, other elements, your spouse, uh, getting your credentials approved, both parties, uh, there's lots of things you can do that we're going to review amongst the other elements of how to improve your score. But the, the, main, the main element of the first uh, tip is that you need to keep a very broad perspective and not zero down and focus down on one or two elements. Uh, the second point that we cover, uh, and again, we're, we're covering today how to boost your CRS score. Uh, we're here today in Montreal, and if you have an opportunity uh, to follow our presentation today, uh, that's great. We'll upload it at, at the end of the session. But the details of what we're covering are in the writing that's on our website under uh, immigration updates. So the second point is get a job offer. 
Now, easier said than done. Easier said than done. Get a job offer. Well, listen, if everyone can get a job <laughs> and, and that would be their ticket to Canada, right. well, my goodness, we, we wouldn't even, we wouldn't have much to share because <laughs> no, everyone, everyone would get the 600 points and they'd be in. Exactly. But, but getting a job is difficult whether you're a Canadian, it's difficult whether you are a foreign national looking to immigrate to Canada. But one of the best ways of considering and, and working on getting yourself into the Canadian labor market is visit Canada. Yeah. Visit Canada, come make a plan, visit Canada, and coincide and time your visit so that you're going to attend job fairs, so that you're going to be available to meet with potential employers in different areas of, of, of Canada that are interested, that are of interest to you. So getting a job offer requires a certain mindset and it requires a certain commitment that you need to put together uh, to maximize your chances in immigrating to Canada. So that's, that's the first uh, tip that we, we surely uh, want to emphasize. Sorry, the second tip that we want to emphasize. And it ties in with the third one? It ties in with the third one in that we strongly recommend hire a professional. Why put this into your own hands? There are people out there, there are companies out there who make a living, who have an expertise, who have years of experience in helping you uh, improve your chances. So uh, a, a, a professional in the employment field will help you put together an excellent digital resume, uh, will introduce you to hiring, potential hiring uh, employers in Canada. Uh, it, most importantly, a professional will help you learn to stand out from others in the field. Because anyone who's looking to secure employment in Canada, really, you need to know how to stand out. You don't, what, what don't you want to do? I mean, you also don't want to rely on online job boards. You don't want to rely on online job boards because what you're doing is you're just submitting your application and leaving things to pure luck and pure chance. Right. Because there's thousands of people that are applying for, any, for a given job at any given time. From all over the world and Canada as well. Well, that's it. So, so when you work with a professional, you, you're increasing your chances, but you're working with a, a firm that hopefully will help you stand out uh, from others in the pool. Again, the name of the game is to maximize your chances. Now, one of the, uh, I suppose, uh, pieces of good advice that we like to share with individuals is that at immigration.ca, we are one of the only enterprises in the industry. I would almost venture to say the only, but that might be a bit of a stretch to say. But we're one of the only that have an in-house, standalone professional search consulting enterprise that we own. We have a team of trained individuals. Our Global Recruiters of Montreal is part of the Global Recruiters Network. It is a Chicago, Illinois based entity. Uh, they're very successful. There's, it's a standalone franchise operation that we purchased in 2007. And we are working in the North American labor market. So we know a thing or two about finding a job. What we're not going to tell you is go find a job and come back to us uh, when, when you've reached that uh, milestone. Right. We help every one of our clients through Global Recruiters of Montreal. That's www.grnmontreal.com. We help every single one of our clients uh, to maximize their chances and put them in touch with uh, professionals in the field uh, to help you stand out from others uh, in, in the process. That's the key uh, that, that we can say is, is an important piece of advice. Um, there are some other points. Exactly. So another way to get the 600 points, not just the job offer, is to get provincial nomination. So different provinces have different qualifying occupations. So you need to actually go to the website or stay up to date of the provinces, or you can even check out our website, which will always keep you up to date, because these provinces, these provincial programs, they open and they close, as we saw with Saskatchewan, in a matter of hours. It was crazy how quick that took it place. It was very quick. Or also in other programs with a matter of days. So you do need to stay up to date. And that ties in with the next way to boost your score, and that would be if you're applying as a couple. 
So when you're applying with your, your spouse, you need to look at both of your profiles. You need to look at a combination of your age, your education, your qualifications. You need to see what are the qualifying occupations for pro provincial programs. So once you decide who the strongest main applicant is, then don't forget that your spouse is still going to get you some points because you're going to get points for their age, their education, their language ability, and so on. And one other point that most people don't realize is you can actually submit two applications as a couple. So you can submit one application with the husband as the main applicant and another application with the wife as the main applicant. That ties us to the sixth one. The sixth one, which is increasing your work experience. So if you're currently working in Canada, please continue to work in Canada because obviously that gets you points in and of itself. It's its own category. Canada experience, we say, is in the industry, it's the gold standard. So obviously you want to try to get a job in Canada, but if you don't have Canadian experience, that's fine. It's still fine. Not you everyone. Still... That's. I mean, obviously, many people who apply do not have Canadian experience. Right. So I mean, if you have extensive work experience, you have great language ability. Obviously, you're going to get more points. But one thing to bear in mind is you need to keep your express entry profile up to date because provinces are always on the lookout for certain qualifications. So it's very important that as you know, as you work on your profile, as you know, say you increase your language ability, you get more work experience. You need to keep your profile up to date, just so that will actually maximize your chances. So we're here today on our uh, immigration.ca live stream. We're going through uh, the elements on how to boost your CRS score. I'm here with Andrea. And uh, what we're sharing with you today is written in detail on our website under immigration uh, news updates uh, for September 2016. Uh, at the end of today's session, of course, we're going to upload this uh, video and you'll be able to follow us uh, and watch uh, the contents of today's presentation uh, at your uh, leisure time. Uh, so you're covering the important element of improving work on getting more work experience. Yes. Whether it's in Canada, which is the gold standard, or if it's abroad, that's also uh, 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 certainly going to uh, help. Um, did you want to cover anything else under experience or we're, we're up to date on I that? I think we're up to date. I guess we can discuss uh, the language requirements. Improving your language uh, skills is our seventh, uh, what we call, uh, piece of advice that you need to be able to do. And that's, that goes without saying. First of all, uh, all our clients we offer 24-month mandates. So if you're working with us, you've got two years. First of all, once your application is submitted to the Express Entry Pool, you have a validity period of 12 months. Uh, all our clients are receiving English language practice tutorials, from which, if you uh, want to continue after the free language tutorials, you'll be able to take different stages of, of proficiency, language proficiency courses uh, to help improve your, your language. And you have either two years working with us, uh, all our mandates, uh, we offer two submissions to the Express Entry Pool. So during the first 12 month period, you can be working on improving your language ability. The gold standard, we, we, we try to tell everyone to get language CLB 9, which is, which is going to give you a lot of points, that, right? Well, obviously that maximizes your, your eligibility as well. It, it, it puts sense. you up there. It, it, it puts you up there, but I mean, is it, is it easy to get language uh, CLB 9? I don't think so, yeah. but you've got time to work at it. And you should, for those that are on the edge uh, of, of the points that are being uh, used to, to issue invitations by the government, every two weeks the government holds periodic draws, and they will uh, issue uh, the uh, CRS score uh, that will give rise to invitations. Everyone who have that score or above uh, will be receiving an invitation. We don't know what the scores are going to be in the future. They, they traditionally have happened every two Wednesdays uh, during the year. Um, but you, you should be working on improving your language scores because it, it will certainly, um, it'll certainly make an important difference. Uh, the eighth uh, piece of advice is is boosting your education. Wow, my goodness. Uh, let's let's explain how education. Of course, there's many ways that you can go about boosting your education. Uh, uh, it, it goes beyond just saying go and get a master's degree. Uh, it goes beyond. I mean. What we have asked from many of our uh, clients, and we have suggested, and some of them are following it, is coming to Canada and and studying here. You can get you know you can come to Canada if you say you want to do a master's degree. 
you can look into options to come into Canada to do your master's degree. Obviously, so that's going to get you some points as well because you have some Canadian education. And obviously, it also helps you with finding a job. It helps you find a job. It, it Again, it ties back to the employment. So from our earlier uh, piece of advice, which we, we, which we were uh, emphasizing, the importance of visiting Canada for your job search, it's also a good idea to consider coming to study in Canada. Many people who, who are on the edge uh, or below uh, the required point, uh, the CRS score, uh, they're looking to come that extra bit, looking to uh, find a school, either it's a vocational degree, uh, could be a master's degree, um, but also you want to get all your qualifications assessed because uh, getting your educational credential assessment, which is a requirement uh, for non-Canadian education, uh, you need to have your education assessed. And, and if you're a partnership, if you're a husband and a wife, a main applicant and a spouse or common law partner, get both of the uh, exactly. assessments uh, done. Um, and these are elements uh, that we, we strongly recommend um, because you know, you, you need to do everything that, that you might uh, be able to increase your score. Uh, there's other elements to this uh, particular piece of advice. Uh, it's in the writing uh, on our website. So go and read it in detail uh, because there's some uh, other insights within this particular topic. Um, perhaps the last point, which is the ninth one, uh, I don't know why we came to nine, but it's, uh, it's long <laughs> enough, but uh, my goodness. Staying up to date. Stay up to date, stay informed. Uh, how could we be more emphatic uh, than suggesting the rules are changing? Really, I, I would even say, certainly not daily, but it feels like daily. Yeah. Uh, lately, it feels like daily, but it's certainly often. So it, it's often that the rules are changing at the federal level. Uh, there's currently uh, a big dialogue taking place where the government of Canada is looking to improve and enhance um, and make the system more efficient. Uh, the provinces are joining suit. Yes, uh, Quebec is, is coming up with a new system. Uh, there was a lot of development on the Quebec uh, immigration front uh, this summer. Um, the provinces are coming up with rule changes. So what we do, and, and the advantage of working with us is that we are in a position to at least have your chances maximized because we are on the ground and we're in touch with many of the rule changes. I won't say always, but we're in touch with some of the rule changes even before they are announced. Exactly. We occasionally, I mean, I'm not going to make that bold statement and say we're always informed <laughs> before they're announced, but we have a pretty good idea uh, of, of some of the changes that are happening even before they're taking place. So what we're doing is we're giving uh, our clients an extra advantage, an extra edge by being in a position to quickly submit your applications uh, once the rule changes are formally announced. So really staying in touch with our website uh, with our writings, uh, with our social media. I mean, where could people, what, what do people need to do to stay in touch, really? I mean, they, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, and we have, I mean, obviously you can go to our website. There's always immigration updates on our website. Uh, the new section of our website, there's tons of content always being uploaded as well. Uh, so stay in touch. Stay in touch. Stay in touch, stay informed. And I think that that covers a good portion of what we wanted to do. We're just concluding now our third immigration uh, live stream series. Uh, today's topic is boosting your, your uh, comprehensive ranking system score. Uh, the, the, the item that we are talking about uh, is in detailed writing on our website. Uh, what's a call to action we can give everyone before we close out? Okay, well, I mean, if you're interested in immigrating to Canada and you would like to use our services, or just go to our website, immigration.ca, and complete our free online assessment form. So we'll get back to you in one to two working days, and we'll get back to you with further information on how we can assist and what your eligibility is. Great. Great. So uh, our technical team, guys, are you noticing anything that we need to cover? Have we covered everything? We're, we're just about done now, so we're going to wrap up, um, and uh, we're going to thank everyone for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us today, and uh, we look forward 
to our next series, uh, which we'll let you guys know uh, a week or so in advance, probably in two weeks from now. Uh, we've got a lot of topics to share, so stay in touch with us, and thanks for sharing with us today, and we'll look forward to working with you in the near future. Thanks so much. Thank you.